So we've got this differential equation here, y equals x y prime minus y prime squared. Now, normal methods of solving differential equations is a little bit awkward in this. So we use something called Clairaut's equation. So I'm going to write the name of the mathematician who invented this technique. So Clairaut's equation. Now, in my previous video, I showed how the building blocks of Clairaut's equation are. It comes in two parts. Click the link below, you'll see how they are derived. But it comes from taking the derivative with respect to x of the three terms. Now, Clairaut's equation comes in two parts. First of all, we have the general solution. So that's the first part of our building block. And that is y equals, so we work in terms of c. So c, in this case here, will be our y prime. So c x plus f of c. So here we've got here x y prime minus y prime squared. Here our f of c will be minus y prime squared, where we use our c to be y prime. And what we do is we transform this solution here next in terms of p. So what we do is we set y prime to be p. And then that will give us y equals px plus f of p. Now that leads us on to the next part of our building block, which is called the singular solution. So now the singular solution. What that entails is we have taking this part here, minus f prime p, that equals our x. Now this is a very important part of the solution when we're trying to solve it, because that transforms our answer from our y prime into our x, which is what we want, that's what our end goal is. Basically what we're trying to find at the end of this is our y of x. That's what we're interested in to solve this differential equation. Okay, so with that in mind, let's use our building blocks and see if we can find the solution for this. So here we have, using this in terms of p, we have y equals px plus f of p. Now we've got here our y prime, that equals p. So if we set this up here with our y prime as p, we can write this in terms of p. So now we get y equals px. Now here we've got minus y prime squared, where our y prime is p. So we need to put it here minus p squared. Okay, so that's what we've got. Now, what we need to do now is use our singular solution. So our minus f prime of p, that equals x. So what we want now is our derivative of p squared and the negative version equals x. So now we've got negative p squared, so negative p squared. Now here we've got the negative sign here as well, so it's important not to get confused with the minus signs. So we put the minus sign here and take our derivative and set that equal to x. Now what's the derivative of here of our negative p squared with another negative? So not what, now what we have is 2p equals x. So therefore now solving for our p, p equals x over 2. So now that's going to help us build our answer. p equals x over 2. Okay, so now let's just put this in a box here. And let's work with this. So px, well, what is our p? Our p is x over 2. y equals px. So p is x over 2, so that's x over 2 times x minus p squared. p squared, well, x over 2 is our p. So we've got x over 2 squared. 
Okay, now we can simplify this up. So y equals x squared over 2 minus x squared over 4. Okay, so now just try and work this out. We've got 2x squared over 4 minus x squared over 4. So therefore our y equals x squared over 4. So therefore our final solution is y of x equals x squared over 4. That's our answer.